What's up, everybody? It's Joe from the Acceptable Casualties, here to do a little uh, army showcase for some additions I got for my uh, British 11th Armored Division. So uh, this is some of the stuff that I had uh, I'd done a, a little post on, I think it was like a week ago, roughly, about those M5 half-tracks that I got them from a uh, Plastic Soldier Company, and then the uh, motor platoon that I ended up getting in from, uh, from Battlefront. And I also picked up some self-propelled Bofors as well. It's another order. I just didn't do a video on that. So uh, over the past couple days, I've been kind of working at and trying to get these things painted up for my next game. Um, I want to start off V4 with these guys. So uh, this is going to be going on the table probably in the next couple days, next battle report we shoot. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I just want to give you guys a little closer look on how the things turned out. Um, you know, obviously not super quality, but, you know, they're, they're good for me. So uh, over here, I had the M5 half tracks. I ended up putting the... Um, the transfer sheets on there for all of them for the uh you know the black bull uh worked on the interiors a little bit uh and just the uh just the drivers down there some basic stuff i was gonna put some of the uh some of the guys in the back seats but i wanted to keep it the option open just in case if i um if i wanted to use them maybe for some other companies down the road and not have the uh the paint jobs for the uniforms not match up with maybe some of the foot soldiers that's just me um, you know, being anal retentive about stuff. So I, I kind of kept those open. I might add them later on. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's, that's what we're looking at here for the M5s. Uh, put some stowage bags and stuff on the side. They came out pretty good. I mean, you know, for my quality, really good. I know for some of you guys out there, you guys are pretty amazing with the paintbrush. So, uh, you know, this this is pretty good tabletop quality for me. Um, in the back, uh, I got some of the, uh, I got two self-propelled Bofors right here. I was going to expand it to four or five, I mean to four or six for the list that I play, but I figure I'd start with two. It's a nice like 85 point filler for the list. If I need to squeeze in an extra unit, uh, it is a support platoon for uh, for the armored squadron that I play. And with the new V4 rules, you know, you don't have to worry about these guys getting blown off the table and them costing you, um, them costing you anything as far as your uh, company morale test and stuff like that. So, Bofors, looking forward to getting uh, these guys on the table as well. Plus, I mean, they do have awkward layout, but uh, with the new rule set, I think with the blitz move, that kind of negates that because they'll kind of standing still. So, you might be able to slowly push these guys up the table. They have a 24 inch range, and with that blitz move, um, you might be able to get shots out of these guys each turn if uh, if you get some good dice going your way. So it's something to, something to think of as far as uh, if you were thinking about maybe throwing some bofers in your list. And then down here is just the basic motor platoon, uh, three regular machine gun stands. The uh, the one I see, or not the one I see. I'm sorry, the uh, the commander. He also has machine guns. And then there's the piot and the uh, light mortars. Um, so yeah, this is the stuff I've been working on for the past couple days. Uh, like I said, really looking forward to getting these guys out on the table. As far as the British 11th Armor go. Um, I don't know what I'm, I'm looking at to add to these guys after this. Uh, maybe some uh, some of the British M10s uh, just to get a little extra firepower in there. Plus, I think they're a pretty cool looking model. But uh, outside of that, I don't know what else I'm looking to add in the future. I don't know if there's anything that you guys want to see. I know Sextons were on there, but I'm kind of waiting to see um, how that Plastic Soldier Company kit looks when it ends up dropping in the next couple months. I think there's been rumors of that. And um, I might just wait for those because just cost effective wise, I think if I buy all the Battlefront stuff for it, it's, it's going to cost way more than um, than what I really want to spend for just an artillery unit. Because this list that I play, you guys have seen a couple times, it's more about mobility than it is about just sitting back and plugging away. But before I ramble on too long here about this, I just want to give you guys a little look about some stuff that's going to be coming out on the table in the next couple battle reports for my uh, British 11th Armored. So thanks for watching. Like or subscribe. Leave a little comment if there's any units that you guys might want to see added to this, uh, added to this army so I can throw them out on the tabletop for you guys. So catch you later. Thanks for watching.